Hello, I'm Dr. Professor Luigi, and I'm going to give you my tutorial on Mechanism. Today, we're going to cover the basics. Mechanism is an extensive mod with all kinds of different things. Everything from atomic disassemblers to destroying your enemies to balloons to celebrate a parade or whatever you use balloons for. <laughs> so today, we're going to be covering the ores, the piping, the machines, and then this. So, let me just turn it to daytime. And kill that guy. Alright. So the ores that are included in the mechanism is osmium, which is going to be very, very useful later on. Copper, just what we need, more copper. And tin. So, these two, well, actually these three, can be disabled in the config. I have these two disabled for generation in the configuration, so you're not really... You can do that in case you have already have, like I do, eight different types of frickin' copper. So, we're going to focus on mostly osmium. Osmium spawns about the same rate as iron, and there's a reason for that. It is used in everything in this mod. So, now we're going to cover the pipes. There are four kinds for the four elements. Basic, universal, energy cable. This is a very important thing, and one of the things that makes mechanism great. This transports electricity, or plasma, one of the forms of matter. This can store some energy as well. This has four tiers. Basic, green, red, which is advanced, blue, which is elite, and purple, which is ultimate. This corresponds with the energy cubes and factories, which we'll go over later. So, there's also mechanical pipe, which is liquids, pressurized tube, which is gases, and mechanical piping, which is solids. This transports items and blocks and such. So, that's that. Don't really need to show many demonstrations of those. We can get into that when you actually see them in action. Now for the bread and butter. The machines. The mechanism adds six main machines. There are some other ones, which we'll get in later for chemical processing and five times or duplication. But, we'll go over these ones for now. First off, the enrichment chamber. Now, one thing you'll notice is everything will have, a lot of things will have hold shift for details. Stored energy is 8 kilojoules, energy times 1, speed times 1, inventory, true. Hold shift and M for a description. So you can go ahead and pause it if you want to read that. But you realize, yes, these do hold their inventory. But what's in this inventory? An energy cube being used as a battery. So, these enrich things. So first off, we'll, and you can enrich ore with them, and what they will do is they will turn it into, I can't do a drum all from up, dust! That's right, this is the first tier of, of ore processing, double. You can then smelt this dust to get a, an ingot, better than if you just smelt the ore. Or you can get dirty dust, which we'll get into later. which will do a regular dust. So this also cleans up that stuff. So, what next? The osmium compressor. Now, this again has an inventory. You realize I set it down and just starts working. The osmium, it takes different materials and crushes it into an osmium ingot. That is why they are used. That is why osmium is such a big deal, because it's used in everything. As you can see, I'm crushing the fine obsidian dust in osmium to make an obsidian ingot. That sounds wonderful. Next up is the combiner. The combiner will take things and combine them. There are t tons of different recipes. Yeah, you can get the recipes by clicking here if you download NEI. Iron dust with a cobblestone will create iron ore. This is how you can, but of course it will require four iron dust, as you can see in this recipe right here. That will eight, actually, because eventually you'll get to a point where you can make five of these out of a single ore, so it has to be fair. And oh, and one thing you'll also note is all of these have an animated thing while they're working, so when they stop working, it won't be animated anymore. Next up, 
Oh, experiencing a bit of FPS drop there. Is the purification chamber. Now this one actually uses a gas in order to be operable. The gas in question, oxygen. So you slap that on there. By the way, this is a gas tank. The input is all sides, the output is the red side. And when you, let's say you have a tank full of stuff you don't want, you can just hit that and it'll dump the excess. So, then there's our gas thing at work. One thing, yeah, okay. So that's working, cool. As you can see, it has an ultimate energy cube again inside of it. So, what does this do? Well, this. It'll take shards, and then this is where you would input things like an oxygen tank if you needed to. Note, you can note that the electrical input is varies. So, this will turn shards into a clump, which you'll see what a clump does later, and you'll figure out how to make shards in one of the more advanced videos. Or you can take an osmium ore. also turn it into an osmium clump. Except you realize it'll turn it into three osmium clumps. There's the beginning of our three times ore processing. Next is the crusher, which takes a clump, which will take a clump. Remember, three clumps from that one ore, using the purifier, and turn it into a dirty dust. This also does various other things, such as take this and turn it into that. Or take an ingot and turn it directly into a dust. All these different things. I highly suggest installing NEI whenever you're doing any mods like this. The recipes are a nightmare. And then next, last and definitely the least, energized smelter. It's just an electric furnace. So, uh, that, oh, nope. Logistics and the configurator. I didn't put anything in that chest. So, the configurator is that. Craft it as so. And then you could take any of these machines and it will tell you what color each side is. Why are you going to need that? Well, each color of the side corresponds with one of these. As you can see, this is dark red dark blue and dark green. The dark red is the top and blue is on the side, etc. Well, you can change these either by doing this or it's easier just to go into here and be able to change it that way. So if I turn this to red and turn this to blue, which is how I usually have it, then you realize input because as you can see the input is red and the output is blue. Input on one side, output on the other. Then you could also turn on auto eject, which will automatically eject the item out when you have a pipe, so that any time this is the output slot, the dark blue, any time it finishes and there's a pipe on the blue side, it will automatically put it into that pipe. And then this will determine the output color, which will also correspond with the logistical sorter, which we'll see later. This can also be used to <coughs> Are a little sick. Uh, change the color of this pipe, which will also correspond. When something's a certain color, it will have that tag, and it will only go in a pipe of that color. So if you output, if you set the output to indigo, it'll only go in an indigo pipe. And then this is used to set the how this pipe, this pipe right here, reacts with the chest. So it'll tell you the status if you click on it. You have to shift. Uh, it'll push, meaning it, items will not come out of that. It will pull, which replaces the wooden pipe and the engine from Buildcraft. It will automatically pull items out of it. Or none, which will make it so that it will not interact with this. And then back to normal. So, there's the basics of mechanism. I hope you learned something. And stay tuned for the advanced of mechanism. Ciao.